Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to do part three of cascading style sheets with Adobe Flex. Now, we have saved the best for last. Embedding fonts in Adobe Flex 3 is easy. Now, let's get some fonts we can embed, and a good place to go is just to the internet and type in free fonts. I did that, and the first thing that came up was 1001 free fonts. You can find it at www.1001freefonts.com. And the nice thing about this site is you can actually test the fonts to see what they're going to look like before you download them. So let's just test. And that's pretty cool. I like that. No guessing, uh, downloading, and then trying. You can actually see it here. So once you've found a font you like, you can just go ahead and download that font. Now what happens is, is that on many computers there's only a few sets of fonts and most likely the font that you're using in your Adobe Flex application, certainly if it's as nice as this one, will not be on the user's computer so it won't show up. So what you want to do is actually embed that font in your application so the user will be able to see the font as you intended it to be seen. So I've actually downloaded that font on my desktop and I'm going to show you the font trick. So here is the font trick. Once you've downloaded the font, unzip it. And then go to the Explorer, find the C drive, go to Windows, and then go to the Fonts folder and drop that font into that folder. And then it will be available to all your applications, Flex, Word, Illustrator, whatever. So let's do that right now. I've actually unzipped the font. Let's go ahead and copy that font. And I've already opened up Explorer and navigated down into my fonts file. And when you click on that fonts file, you see all the different fonts that are on your machine. Go ahead and drop your new font right into that folder. And it installs. And now let's open up Adobe Flex and see if that font is available. I'm in Adobe Flex now, and I'm going to go to uh, the design window. Let's go to the cascading style sheet. That's the key here. And once you're in the cascading style sheet, double click and hit design. And I see now there's some new features here when I click on the cascading style sheet. I see an embed this font. Oh, isn't that cool? All I have to do is click on this and this font will be embedded into my application. And let me open up the style sheet in the source view so you can see it. From the last application part two, we have a label and some style name selectors and a global selector as well. Nothing else than that. We want to take a look at this as we add the fonts. So let's go back. And we're going to select on uh, label, for example. Here's the text label. And let's come along here and let's look for this new font. Is it on the machine? And there it is right there. And that's a name I can't pronounce. <laughs> Should have chose something easier. But you can see it. We're going to click on that. Oh boy, and there's that nice font we wanted. Let's go ahead and embed that font, and you can see that embed is already clicked. So at that point, I'm going to go ahead and save this application. And let's go back and take a look at that cascading style sheet in Source View. And if we scroll down here, oh, look at that. At font face, and there's my font. And so I've actually embedded this font in the application. Let's go ahead and run it. And there's my beautiful font embedded in my Adobe application. So if I was to run this on a, another machine for, in another application, it would look just like this because the font is going with the application. Now, just one thing here to note. When you embed a font, your application gets larger. And in some cases, it can get very large depending on how many fonts you've embedded. So watch that embedding. There are ways to take out characters you don't need. But for our work in academia, we need all types of characters. So uh, embedding or not to embed, this is the key. If you're just wanting one label, for example, or just a small portion of text, then you can go into Illustrator, turn it into a, an image, and then bring it into Adobe Flex, and that will keep it very light. But if you're looking at a lot of text and things you need to change, it's best to go ahead and embed that font. So one more thing here. Why wasn't my first label affected? by the beautiful font. And the answer to that is that the first label is using the style name selector, where the second labels use the type selector. And style name selectors take precedence of the style name selectors. Well, that's embedding fonts in Adobe Flex.